Nathan's condition means he has physical limitations, but thanks to some high-tech software, he's able to attend a mainstream school. Sometimes, he's not well enough to make it into the classroom, but that doesn't stop him from taking part in the lesson. Go into science, and then go to nuclear radiation. Unfortunately, Nathan hasn't made it to the lesson today. Um, this does happen on occasions. Um, a lot of the activities that we do in science are activities based on the internet or using software packages such as Word and Excel. Um, today, for instance, we've been able to email Nathan the worksheet and the web addresses that I want the children to look at, so Nathan's been able to do the activity at home independently of his classmates. Nathan uses better award winner The Grid 2. This revolutionary software enables him to access any computer-based package. It can be controlled in many different ways, but Nathan uses a laser. I have a laser on the top of the... That laser... Tracks my dot on my chin. With the dot on my chin. Move the mouse via the... Light coming on from the top of the lights. Well, I, I first met Nathan when he was about five years of age, and at that point he wasn't able to interact with the computer very easily. The Grid 2 is a very flexible piece of software that combines a number of functions which help children with communication difficulties or mobility issues um, to access a computer far more successfully. There are numbers of different types of programs around which do individual things which can be supported with such children, but the Grid 2 brings together all those functions and in one integrated package allows for a substantial improvement in access for many, many students. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. What have we been up to? Grid has a lot of features which are really valuable to Nathan. Main one is the ability to write. Rather than use the keyboard, with mouse control we can have an on-screen keyboard and he can interact with that keyboard by just pausing for a brief time and the letter he has paused on will be produced inside Microsoft Word. To make it still faster again, within the grid there's a built-in feature for word prediction, which means that keywords will be presented to him by pausing on those. Once again, that word will go straight into his text. I use it for internet. Mm. Browsing the internet. And I mainly use it for mm. Mm. typing. Nathan works at a remarkably quick speed. He astonishes me when I try to use it when I'm setting the system up for him. He's probably twice as fast as I am. Extended practice has really brought it down to a point whereby he pauses on a box before selection for 0.2 of a second, which I'm quite astonished by. I can't operate anywhere near that. Which means his writing is relatively quick, you know, given his difficulties. He's able to undertake a task as any other student will in class then and submit work in the normal way. Generally, he takes a very full part in lessons and that is down to the, the software um, enabling him to uh, use his computer just like we would use a keyboard. Um, and it, the process is so seamless that, that you don't really notice him using software and he gets on with it very uh, competently and that's been reflected in some very good GCSE results. Nathan also uses the grid to control other technology. I use it for TV, controlling TV. Nathan's friends also love the software because it means they can stay in touch. On a MSN, it allows him to contact people. It allows him to talk to his best friends freely without anyone being around. And it allows him to sit, tell them things that are on his mind that he doesn't really want other people to know. It allows him to get people to meet up with him in town and go to the cinema. We talk about loads of random stuff, like school, work and things like that. The technology allows him to do that. Basically, if I didn't have this type of stuff, I'd be lost, basically, for things to do, basically.